Top 10 Car Dealer Tricks to Avoid. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, a longtime car buyer's advocate known as the Homework Guy, and I'm joined today by the amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. Liz, the title of this video brings back memories to one of the first videos I ever did. 13 Car Buying Mistakes, remember that one? Yeah, I sure do. One of the resources I often sent my customers to back in those days for looking up the going interest rates for 680 credit scores and above was none other than Bankrate.com. It's a bit humorous for me to see this report published by Bankrate covering 13 car dealer tricks designed to deceive car buyers. We removed three of the tricks because they were a bit outdated. I'm guessing Bankrate saw our content and thought, why not? <laughs> Let's out the behavior of some of those bad dealers out there too. We both thought these 10 tips were great and should be shared with you today. So we're hitting up a top 10 car dealer tricks to watch out for. The truth is that there are always a few tricks, and yes, there are more, up the sleeves of some car dealers, even some of the best ones, and they may try to run these things on you when it comes time for you to buy your car. You know, I wanna talk about something quickly. We've been talking about building a list of good dealers here at the Homework Guy channel. We are not talking about a list of perfect dealers, sure. something some of you are a bit confused on. They are simply much better than a typical dealer and a dealer that most people, not all, will find pleasant to work with. All right, here we go. Dealer trick number one, the credit discreditation. A dealer might tell you that you don't qualify from competitive rates even if you do. While this could be true in some cases, if you come in being unarmed with your own information, meaning you don't know what your credit score is, the dealer could imply your credit is worse than it actually is. Right. Without knowing the truth, you tend to be more willing to accept paying a higher marked up interest rate, costing you more money than it should. How do you avoid this? Come in having done your own homework. If you're going to rely on dealer financing, have your credit score on hand before you sit down with the dealer so they can't trick you. Even better yet, follow our advice and get pre-approved for an auto loan so you definitely don't have to rely on dealership financing. And the stories they tell you about just barely getting you approved or saying something like they had to call in a favor with the banker or something stupid like that or cashing in a coupon. Yes, the good old cashing in a coupon story. Here's trick number two, the single transaction strategy. Many people view buying a car as one transaction. It's definitely not an obvious fact dealers know all too well. Buying a car is really three transactions rolled into one and in those back offices, this is exactly how they're working your deal. Number one, there's the price of the car you're buying. Number two, there's the trade-in value they are offering. And number three, there's the financing options you have if paying cash isn't something that you can do. Right. All three parts of the transactions are gateways for the dealer to make money. And it also means that all three places you can save money by doing some good negotiating. How do you win this game? Treat each part of the transaction the same as the dealer does. Break them out separately. In fact, you can shop your trade-in with multiple dealers to get the best trade-in price. Get those offers first from CarMax or Carvana and then have those offers documented and in hand. Also, when it comes to the vehicle you plan to buy, having done your homework and coming in with common sale prices for the car you're interested in will help you keep the dealership honest. Dealer trick number three, the payment ploy. The sales or finance team might throw out a monthly payment, one that you reasonably could qualify for, but there's often a catch. In some cases, the dealer may have factored in a large down payment, maybe something you weren't planning on, sure. or they stretch the term of the loan up to 72, 84, or even 120 months, which is more like a car mortgage than a car loan. It is, so how to avoid this? Focus on the price of the car rather than the monthly payment. Never answer this popular question, how much can you pay each month? Or what's your monthly payment goal? Stick to saying, I can afford to pay X dollars for the car. You should also make sure that any price negotiated is the full cost of the vehicle as in the out the door price before your trade in or down payment is applied to the deal. And as far as out the door price is concerned, we have an email template on our website that you can download for free to help you get the out the door price. Yep. Now dealers trick number four, Bot delivery financing. Some dealers have been known to call customers days or even weeks after they signed a purchase agreement to tell them that the financing fell through. Yeah. It's typically a scam, and we covered it some time ago in this show titled, Car Dealer Says Bring the Car Back. Spot delivery, also known as spot financing, is designed to get you to come back and sign a new loan contract at a higher interest rate. It always costs you more. Right. The dealer can know if you qualify for financing almost instantly, but sometimes they just want you committed to the car and out of the way. The goal of the later call is to get you to come back to agree to a loan with a higher interest rate because, according to them, they just found out you didn't qualify for the quoted lower rate. 
How do you avoid this? Never leave the showroom without signed contracts in your hand that spell out every detail and with every blank filled in. Confirm that you have been approved for the financing the dealer offered. If you have that, they can't retreat on the financing. Dealer trick number five, the insurance illusion. Some dealers may try hard to get you to purchase an insurance policy when you're buying your car. One type of insurance, gap insurance, covers the difference between what the car is worth and the amount you still owe on it. It's usually just an extra expense, but if you do want it, gap insurance is generally cheaper when purchased from a regular car insurance company or even from your local credit union. Yeah. Another favorite product dealer finance loves to sell are things like credit life insurance, which will pay the balance of your loan if you die before you've been able to repay it. Sure. If these policies interest you, you will want to understand what you are purchasing and that you can decline and shop around for better prices. The markup on these policies at the dealership can be enormous. Ginormous. In part because the insurance companies that sell the policies to dealerships offer them huge incentives. Everything from cash to first class trips to push the policies. How do you avoid this? Don't automatically agree to the insurance policy offered. Some insurers include the benefits of gap insurance in their regular comprehensive automobile coverage, so check there first. As for the credit life insurance, you'll more than likely want to simply avoid it. In most cases, it won't make sense for you. Dealer trick number six, the rate razzle dazzle. <laughs> it certainly sounds tempting. 0% interest to finance a new car. However, this deal may not be the best one for your pocketbook, interestingly enough. Yeah. For starters, most financing incentives are for shorter terms and you need the right debt to income ratio and a stellar credit score to qualify. And with short term loans such as 24 to 36 months, payments on an even moderately priced car can be very high. In addition, as we often suggest, you may be better off finding your own financing and then taking the dealer rebate if one is offered. Say you're looking at a $25,000 car and will get $4,000 for your trade-in. You can choose between 0% financing or financing at 3.49% with a $2,000 rebate. The term of the loan is 36 months. Over the course of the loan, you'll come out ahead by more than $1,200 if you take the rebate and the 3.49% financing. So how to avoid this? Use an auto loan calculator to compute the actual dollars over the term of the loan to figure out which deal suits you best. Dealer trick number seven, the rollover ruse. <sighs> it can be tempting to want to trade for a more expensive car before you have finished paying off the car you're currently driving. Yeah. One way that some car buyers do this is by rolling over the remaining payments on their current car into a new car loan or lease. And the dealers actually encourage you to do this, but this is a very risky move you will end up owing more on the second car than it's worth. And the snowballed problem continues for many years, maybe forever. Yeah. In the language of the automobile world, you'll be upside down or underwater in the vehicle. If it is totaled in an accident, or if you decide down the road to trade it in, you'll end up writing out a big check to cover the remaining amount of the loan. How do you avoid this? You don't want to roll over an old car loan into a new one. That's financial suicide. Instead, shop it around to get a good price for it as a trade-in or through a private sale. And if you can't, just stick with it a bit longer and be patient. Unless you desperately need a new car, there's no real reason to buy a vehicle before you have paid off your old one. None at all. You don't yeah. have to have a car that bad if the car you're trading in actually has a lot of life left in it. Right. So dealer trick number eight, the long-term trick. There is nothing illegal or even deceptive about dealers offering loan periods of six, seven, eight years or even longer. After all, many cars last longer than they used to, and longer loan terms mean your monthly payments are lower. Still, it's far from ideal. You are likely to continually owe more on the car than it's worth because your car is depreciating faster than you're paying it off. How to avoid this problem is, if you are considering a long-term period because it's the only way you can afford the car, you probably should scale back to a less expensive car that is better suited to your budget. Exactly. You don't want to be married to that long-term car loan. Dealer trick number nine, bait and switch. The bait and switch happens when you go in looking for one car and the dealer manages to get you behind the wheel of a different one. Yep. Dealers may use the deceptive strategies to get you on the lot only to tell you the car you want isn't available or it just sold and then try to sell you on something else, often at a higher price. Even though bait and switch is illegal, dealers still do it and often get away with it. Here's what you need to avoid. Stick to what you want. If you did your research and know what you are looking for, then there's no need to second guess yourself. If the car you came in for is not there, wait it out or try another dealer that does have the car you want. Dealer trick number 10, contract cons. Keep an eye out for clauses tucked into the fine print that you might otherwise miss. They might come in the form of changes to the loan term, add-ons that you never agreed to, or other services that can lead to significant costs. 
read and reread everything. Go ahead, take your time, yeah. even if the finance officer seems rushed. A legit dealer or lender won't try to dupe you like this, but it pays to be careful. If you notice any discrepancies, point them out. And if the dealer isn't willing to fix them, just get up and walk away. Yep. So as Kevin said, read over the contract carefully. Ask about all charges and make sure the terms are clear to both you and the dealer. Take a calculator with you and do the math to check if things add up or not. Make sure you keep a copy of the contract in case anything comes up later down the line. The bottom line is that buying a car isn't supposed to be an experience where you feel tricked and walk away feeling like you overpaid for your vehicle. Knowledge is power, something we say all the time. So consider these common dealer maneuvers to ensure that you aren't getting tricked. And that's our show for today, and we hope you enjoyed it. Also, a brief update on our hassle-free car buying process. As Kevin touched on earlier, we've been actively identifying and recruiting good dealers, not perfect ones, but to connect our viewers with, and we can say that finding good dealers takes time, so please be patient. It's a difficult sorting and vetting process. We'll have a lot more on that soon. If you appreciated today's show and you're new here, don't forget to smack the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications of new shows. For those of you just entering the car market, you should be aware of all the free resources we have for you on our website, thehomeworkguide.com. There's a ton of free information there, friends. You'll find a free car buyer's guide and free email templates to use with car dealers. There's also a list of fake fees and the FTC rules printout. We recently added the spreadsheet we did on total car dealer fees by state in the U.S. And there's a download for combating forced add-ons and deceptive pricing. It's all there on thehomeworkguy.com for you to download and use for car shopping. As Liz reminded you, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications. Subscribing is free and painless for you, but it sure helps us out a lot. And give this video a like if you appreciate what we did for you today. Right here, courtesy of the Homework Guy team and our show, is where you'll always find the most dependable tips and helpful information to assist you with finding an enjoyable car buying experience in today's car market. If you just recently joined us as a subscriber, we thank you, appreciate you, and welcome you aboard. Also, thanks again to our many faithful followers who just keep coming back, and to all of our longtime subscribers out there, you guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with Amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal, the Homework Guy team is serving truth and justice in the car business and always will. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.